I want to start this story telling you guys about something that happened about 10 years ago. At this time, I was working at a real big call center, right? For a big company. I won't mention the company's name, but we used to be in teams, you know, and we would, they would rank teams according to analytics. And on our team, there was a big chick, let's call her Tasha. Single mom. I mean, real big. I mean, like, so big, her, her thoughts had diabetes. She was this big, right? She would say really sexually explicit things to, that she would want to do to guys on the team. I was one of them, all right? But there was one other dude that she really was trying to, you know, offer to do stuff for him, like, during break. Just come over here in the car. I'll do this for you. Do that for you. You guys can use your imagination. Well, word kind of got around that she was doing certain things with certain coworkers. And there was a dude, let's call him Nelson. All right. He was a supervisor in the department. She was also making them explicit advances towards him. But he was dumb enough to accept him and reciprocate. The only problem was she went to HR and told on him one day. I don't know what happened. Maybe like he did disciplined her for something that she didn't do. She came to work or whatever, and he wrote her up. And so since she had that dirt on him, she went and told the HR. Did their investigation. Dude was fired. Not her. But him, sexual harassment. That stuck with me, right? This is 10 years ago. We ain't talking about the Me Too era and stuff. I'm still talking about the era where brothers were trying to date chicks at work, sending work emails. How you doing today, boo? Glad you doing okay. You know, they would give us work phones. You in the bathroom taking a, you know, and then sending it out to other employees. We in this era that brothers was doing this type of stuff, dating employees, taking them to lunch, taking them to dinner. That's the era that we was in. Then Me Too movement came out. And brothers saw the light. Now, what do I mean by that? Me Too started affecting people with money. White guys, Jewish guys with power, right? And brothers saw the takedown of the untakeable. Even Bill Cosby, you know, you got the other the other guy that was a film director. All these dudes, man, starting getting hit with allegation after allegation after allegation. Even if the allegations was like 15 years old, 20 years old. All this stuff starting to come back. And black men notice something real quick. And that is this. If that will happen to dudes that got money. My broke ass ain't got a chance, right? Let me, <laughs> let me just really break this down. Right? A lot of brothers understand this if you guys worked in the office environment and a new chick would come in you guys know they have these things called training classes right and in my environment training classes are temp employees listen brothers would be loving those days guys you know what i'm talking about you love to see a new hire class because what end up happening is it puts a brother in a position of a, of, um, of authority. So what would happen is, you know, like if they would be monitoring calls and stuff like that, they would sit sometimes, especially if you're a good employee, the training manager would sit or want new employees to come work with you. Like just to kind of, you know, get some knowledge sometimes just to kind of see what was going on. You guys understand what I'm talking about, right? This is what used to happen. 
So they'd be like, oh, shit, we're going to sit Victoria with you so she can learn. So for me, back in the day, I was like, yes, sit her with me. Why I want her to sit with me? I'm trying to get that number. <laughs> you know, I'm trying to be like, well, if you ever need any help, boo, you know, just let me know. <laughs> I'm here at this cubicle. So, you know, they would come over. I'm, my order is stuck. Can you come help me? I would go over there and simp and help her. You know what I'm saying? You know, try to get the number a little bit later. Next thing you know, because they looking up to you for the time being because you're a top performer. But now. Same work environment, training staff is like, yo, we want to sit this person with you, my brother, uh, brother uh, Leroy, brother Elroy. A lot of brothers like, nope, sit up with somebody else. And the training staff, they're acting like they don't know what's going on. What, 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 what do you mean? Sit her with somebody else, player. Why? Because, I number one, I know me. I know I'm thirsty. <laughs> I might say something that's taken out of context. Or she, I might not say nothing and she take it out of context. See, let me let me talk about this. And George was talking about this the other day. Shout out to him because every now and then he'll make a good point. This is about every 45 days. But he said something that's significant. It's not that you say something to a woman that's sexually harassing. It's the fact that that's how she receives it. That's sexually harassing. See, it's subjective. Because you can say, oh, that is a, that's a nice wristband that you have on. Now, it could go either way. If she likes you and thinks it's attractive, that you're attractive, you can say much more than that. It ain't no problem. But if you say, oh, wow, cool wristband. And that woman doesn't find you attractive or that woman for whatever reason you rub her the wrong way she could technically go to hr listen to this she could say you know o'shea said that my wristband is cool well did he say anything else no but you know he makes me feel uncomfortable in I just feel creepy. You know, he makes me feel creepy when he's around. And, you know, I really think that, um, like, the way he looked at me when he dropped his pen, like, he was, he didn't look at me for, like, more than a second, but he looked at me, and uh, he dropped his pen and looked at me, and then I really, it made me feel uncomfortable. Right there is enough to ruin all of your hard work and dedication for a promotion or even get fired. Right there. Let me tell you something else. Brothers in corporate America or in certain jobs have worked really hard to get where we at. Shout out to you, brothers. I know you work real hard, right? Y'all can feel me on this. A lot of brothers have worked hard going to school, paying college loans. All it is, you're making a good salary. All for somebody to say, I feel uncomfortable. And it's like you want to be able to help them. Shout out to Obsidian because now men who have the skills, we don't want to mentor women at work. I can tell you that for a fact. It's so bad. It's so bad. Even in medical school, we're looking at children. Um, giving heartbeats and monitoring, whatever. And sometimes the children at pediatrics, obviously, pediatrics is anything between newborns and 18. If a young girl comes in that's 16, 17, I don't want to touch her. Any age. I only want to be in the room. Now, it's different in Europe. But when I took pediatrics, a lot of times I was excusing myself. Because, you know, in Europe, they don't have that problem like me. What's, what's me too? But do you know what? You feel bad as a because you don't know what somebody's gonna say. Oh, he he put the stethoscope on my shoulder and I felt some type of way. I don't even want to see female patients. It's that bad. Because at any point it's got so bad, men do not want to help women or even um service them because of the Me Too situation. And the and one people that everybody gonna believe if a woman says something about you is a black man. Man, he tried to do this. Everybody gonna believe it. Because you got that stereotype. You're thirsty. You're desperate. 
Well, some of that is <laughs> it's true, but that's what I'm saying. And black men know this. So, man, we not. No, listen. Mm-mm. Brothers in the workplace now? Nope. Mm-mm. Sit there with somebody else. Need mentorship? If we're going to do it, I need two witnesses at all times. I need video cameras at all time. Cause see, you used to be able to go take your employee into a back office and talk to them and give them. No, you can't do that now. Cause woman can say that everything got to be recorded. And this is the reason why brothers are moving away from women in the workplace. Cause we the last to get hired first to get fired. So anyways, guys, what do you think? Shout out to you brothers out there. have been supporting the channel. Subscribe, hit the bell. Uh, appreciate all my new subscribers. Shout yourself out in the comments. If you want to support my Patreon, www.negromanosphere.com backslash Patreon or Patreon.com backslash Negromanosphere. All my contact information is the first comment pinned to the top. I'm really about black male media, black male issues. That's all I really talk about from a black male's perspective. So support what we're doing here. Guys, let me know what you think. And as you know, the buffoonery remains at an all-time high. I'm out.